is Tuesday, October, oh wow, it is Tuesday, November 10th, and it is 10.42 p.m. My leg itches. It's 10.42 p.m., and I am just getting ready to go to bed, hence my delicious turban hairdo, fresh from the shower, and although you can't see it, my lack of pants. Instead, I'm wearing delicious nighttime boxers, which is weird for a girl, I guess, but whatever. Um, today was pretty good. I had a presentation in U.S. history. That was fun. We did the Oneida community. I don't know if you remember learning about them. Tell me if you didn't, and I'll uh, <laughs> give you a little presentation. Um, there isn't really much else to talk about. We're doing stupid stuff in math. It's not that hard, it's pretty easy. I taught Travis how to do it. And we're doing really easy, like, remembering from last year stuff in chemistry. But of course, I always think it's going to be easy, and then the test ends up being, like, a big monster jerk. Which is why I hate chemistry. And just so everybody knows, everybody who told me it was going to be easy, must be smarter than me, because I don't think it's that easy. I don't know. But it's too late now. And I really like Miss Crawford. I really love Miss Crawford. I just don't like her class. Eh. So what? Um, today I went to the library. We're doing the read a novel, do a research paper project in English. Yeah, I need to repaint my nails. Um, and I read The Gargoyle, and I really loved it, and I would recommend it to people who like to read, but it's kind of adult, and it's got like a lot of references to drug abuse, and it's maybe a little dark, but I really, really liked it um, overall, because I am a firm believer that love stories written by men are always the best. And this was definitely one of those. It was great because, like, almost the whole book, the guy, point of view guy, was, like, fighting and fighting and fighting against it. And it was awesome. I loved it. It was, um, really good. Anyway, it's called The Gargoyle. If you have time or energy, anyone, you should read it. Um, anyway, so we have to do our project. And my book is new to the project, so a lot of people... So nobody has done it before, so there aren't really any books pulled off the shelves in the library for me to use. And since all of our library is, like, packed up because our stupid school is under construction, there isn't much for me to work with. So I went to the library today to turn in some books for my mom, and I got a book on morphine while I was there because I couldn't find anything on the rack at our library. So I'm going to use that for my project. But while I was there, I also got this exciting book called How to Punctuate a Writer's Guide, and I'm really excited to read it and see if I can learn any, like, interesting stuff. I don't know if there's going to be anything that I don't already know, but I'm hoping that there might be something, something new. I want to wait for my latest SAT, PSAT scores to come in before I take the SAT, which would mean I need to do the January, because it's, they're supposed to come in in December. So, probably I'll do that, especially since the late deadline is, like, almost over anyway. So I don't really have that much time. Anyway, onward and upward. It's Tuesday, so the only thing I have to do is answer your question and tell you about my question. So, your question, I guess, is a uh, top priority. I feel like you might have told me this, but I really don't remember. Like, I feel bad. But it is a hard question, and I really don't have a guess, because I've been thinking and thinking, and I feel like I should know, but I don't. Like, I feel like it's in my head somewhere, and that's why I can't make a guess, because I know I know it, but I can't, like, recall the information, so that's kind of making me sad, but whatever. Also, on my question, Valiant Effort, very, very good. You got 6 out of 10 correct. And all the other ones that you put on, just like with mine, 
for yours were definitely books in my top 15. So I didn't, I mean, I, th I thought you made a really good effort. Um, the ones that you got right were Redwall, uh, An Abundance of Catherine's, Poisonwood Bible, How to Kiss a Guy, and Harry Potter's 4 and 6. Instead of number 1 and 5, Harry Potter, I like 3 and 7. Um, I loved To Kill a Mockingbird, but not nearly as much as I loved Brave New World. And I admire your guess of Wuthering Heights. Mm, but Wuthering Heights is not particularly enjoyable by itself. It's got some good literary stuff going on. But I think that life would be okay without it. So my other top in the top 10 that you didn't guess would be El Enchanted, which I love the book. It was a great book. The movie was stupid and it didn't follow it at all, so don't compare it to that. But the book was really good. I really love Gail Carson Levine. She writes a lot of good stuff. A lot of her books are like up there in the list of books that I really love. Um, I think that's all. Uh, I have to ask a question, but my computer thing is stupid. And I don't really want to think of a question. Okay, here's my question. Which of his plays convinces me that Shakespeare loved playing jokes on the world? I hope I worded that right. Basically, one of Shakespeare's plays, I think, was written in, as a complete farce a literary masterpiece to make fun of the hopeless romantics who read his stuff. I think you know the answer because I make a big deal out of it and I think it's I, I could like write my college thesis on it. Anyway. I really like my turban. I think I'm rocking this look. I might do videos in turbans from now on. Anyway. I'm sleepy. I'm gonna go to bed.